I'm going to be teaching you five ways you can actually hide your chest from your other players in the game. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So as you guys can see, we are here in our lovely creative world. Now I do want to say that these methods are by far the easiest methods. They don't use any redstone, any command blocks, anything like that. It's just going to be very, very simple, new and crazy, amazing tips that are just going to help you to hide your chest really, really simply. Now, the first way you can hide your chest, now I do want to say this one is actually kind of risky because, you know, as you all know, if you're trying to hide your, your chest in a house and, you know, having love in your house, most houses are wooden, you know, your house is probably going to burn down. So you got to be careful with this one. But as you guys can see there, my chest is in here. Now, anyone, you know, any player that's, you know, running past this is never going to suspect that there's a chest there because every player avoids lava. So they're never going to suspect that there's a chest there and they're never going to, you know, go into the lava to be able to, you know, see that there's a chest there anyway. So it's pretty much, you know, impossible for them to find it. Now, how do you do this, guys? You got to do it correctly because there is a way that you could do it and you can mess it up you want to make sure that you know you have an area and i would say guys don't do it like this because if someone sees this in your world they're going to think well that is a three by three area that's actually a bit suspicious and they're probably going to you know clear it out with some water so i'll show you what happens if you clear it out with water just like this i'll show you what happens as you guys can see there the person used water and this is what would happen they'd event end up finding your chest as you guys see they end up finding your chest so the reason i say not to do that and um, let me just put the lava back just for you know the purposes the reason what you should do is you should do make it look like a bit more natural so we're just gonna destroy some blocks like this guys and then once you've destroyed some blocks like this you want to make it like an irregular pattern guys you don't want to make it really really normal just make it like an irregular shape like just maybe even use some tnt which will create like a small little blast hole and then something like this guys is just perfect something like that just make it really really irregular then um obviously you don't want it too big because you don't want to you know spend too much time getting lava as you guys can see so um just make it something like this you guys see something something really really odd so once you've got your shape you want to make sure that one block down you want to place your chest and then above that you can place a lava anywhere around and then just make sure you place it on the edges and then it should fill in as you guys can see and then just place some in the middle. I'm, I'm really not sure why lava's really, really weird. Like, it just flows really differently. So, um, yeah, just place some lava around, as you guys can see. Eventually, it should all, you know, settle out. Uh, you don't have to settle out if you don't want to, because, you know, not everyone has enough lava, as I said. But, yeah, what is kind of weird, guys, is why you shouldn't leave it, you know, settled out. Is because, as you guys can see, all of it's, like, pointing towards a chest will be. So, if you know someone you know that does watch my videos as well, and if they do see this in their world, they might think, hmm, a chest is going to be here. And... You know, as you guys can see, there would be the chest. But to the average player, they're just going to see this and just run past it. Not going to think anything of it. But if you do want to, you know, make it less easier to spot it, just, you know, take some areas. And then, as you guys can see, it's a little less harder to see which, you know, where the chest is anyways. But I still think it's a crazy, crazy place to hide your chest. So, the next way you can hide your chest. You guys might be thinking, what on earth is going on here? What is this? This is just an ender dragon. What would, you know... A chest has to do behind an end dragon is it behind here wait no it's not behind here so where on earth is the chest it doesn't make any sense i'll show you guys and this one is really ingenious this one is really really cool so what we actually can do guys is if we just hold this land and we hold that land as you guys can see a little gap forms right there and as you guys can see we've got our chest right there so that's actually really really cool and the reason why this one is so easy to do is of course all you need to do guys is i'll show you if we get ourselves under the chest is underneath you know a block a grass block just put a chest put some grass on top of it and as you guys can see when you hold the bottom land there's a little gap in it and you can't open it just yet but when you hold the top land as you guys can see you can open the chest now you guys might be thinking Drusum, see why on earth is there an end dragon well it's actually hard to get it open to be honest because it's that small small space why on earth did you put an ender dragon right there guys okay might be thinking why did i put an ender dragon there to be honest with you even if you're in your world and you're, you've got a lot of grass there and you know you have this grass and then your friends see you just standing like this they might be thinking why is he hoeing land like this so that's why guys i put a little iron frame with an ender dragon head there just to show you guys that you don't want to draw attention to yourself if you want to have your secret chest you want to make sure that you've got something along here maybe you want to have like a sign right here saying um i'm the best or ever or maybe you want to have like a little paintings along here just you know to keep it less obvious that you know something's right 
behind here it's going to be really hard for them to spot it anyways and also you don't want to do it in the vicinity because guys because they might even hear the chest open and they might just start destroying blocks and grass blocks are really easy to destroy with your hand so that's a quick quick tip on place to hide your chest and after one block it's pretty much revealed anyway so i mean it's kind of good but at the same time it's not too good at the same time so the next place you can hide your chest as you guys can see is over here and i mostly thought i was thinking where is it is it underground is it over there guys it is really just you have to go right over here and for some reason it won't open oh well it does and you guys can see it is a chest now if we look so i don't apologize for getting interrupted but like i was saying guys the chest is just right behind this fire now if i was to destroy this fire just to show you guys i just did four areas of fire and then just put the chest right back there now some people don't really want to do this i would re wouldn't recommend you guys doing this in a house simply because most houses are made out of wood like 90 percent of houses in minecraft are made out of wood and we all know what happens when you have you know fireplaces in wood make sure guys you go to settings and you turn fire spread off because if you don't turn fire spread off guys you will you know your house will burn down so what you need to do guys is just build you know a small chimney area preferably just make sure you use brick don't use wood or whatever i mean you could use wood but i'm pretty sure it might set on fire i i, I don't know i haven't tested it i just want to make sure your stuff is safe just build a little fireplace area then as you guys can see under here just get yourself some netherrack just get some netherrack as you guys can see there place some netherrack you just want to make sure you place four because i'll show you what happens if you only place two if you place two and then we place our chest there i'll show you what happens as you guys can see it's pretty easy to see the chest but then when you place you know two layers as you guys can see and then you put the chest behind well okay well then when you put the chest behind here and you place two layers of fire just like that i'll show you that it's much harder to see the actual chest it's much harder to open as well but it's much harder to see and i, I shouldn't be placing those blocks there just messing about but yeah as you guys can see it's much harder to you know it's much harder to get so yeah it's really really cool it's a really really easy way to hide your chest most people are just gonna be like oh nice fireplace and what's even better guys you know like if you can make this design a lot better is you can add like a little fence grill i think you can add a fence grill and then you can come right here and then you can even open it so that's like no one even if they think they see a chest they'll be like ah well there's a fence grill and um yeah they're probably not gonna you know try to open it so yeah that's like another additional measure so just make sure you have this nice little you know fireplace and you can even decorate it with some um decorate it with some cobblestone or whatever but as you guys can see that is something that is really really easy to do so that's how you hide your chest and we are going to go on to the next one our next one involves a little glitch i'm not sure if it's a glitch because i'm pretty sure it's part of the game but yeah the next one as you guys can see we've got a normal normal wall here but if we use an ender pearl and go right down to the corner we can jump through the wall and as you guys can see over here guys is where we could just easily have a chest now this can be done with you know a lot of blocks guys any stair block this can be done with and this is something why i talked about in my video was like you know how to create two secret bases you know this you can use this not to create just a secret chest room another secret base i could have an entire area outside here so i'm going to show you how it works with stone bricks we're going to get some stone bricks if we can gonna get some stone bricks as you guys can see we go over here and all we want to do is we want to create our normal wall so we've got our normal wall then wherever we want to create like the secret entrance we just place stairs going backwards and because the stairs going backwards it creates a seamless texture so no one's going to realize then of course on one side we have our you know our beautiful little chest room over here and then you just want to make sure you guys are killing endermen a lot because you know endermen are something that you know you'll kill them to get your ender pearls as you guys can see we go through the wall and then we just you know you want to make sure you get right on the corner because if you don't if you don't get around the corner like if you get it up there it's not gonna work if you get it down there it's not always going to work i mean it does work sometimes but it's not always going to work so as you guys can see you just generally want to aim for that corner right there and then once you get that corner you're glitched into the wall and then once you're glitched into the wall you can just come straight through like that and then once you come straight through you can get that as well now another way to easily do this secret you know room slash secret chest to hide your chest from other players which they, they'll, they'll never really realize that that there's thing unless you know they're moving house or doing something is to just do the painting trick now the painting trick is something literally the oldest trick in the book so as you, all you want to do is just um oh gosh just place a sign on the wall like that place another sign there then place not an item frame why did i get an item frame just get yourself a painting then do that and as you guys can see of course since you've got this all painting area over here everything's all closed off you can have your chest over here and of course if they do accidentally destroy the chest destroy this painting your entire area is going to be compromised so just make sure that you know what you're doing so as you guys can see 
once you know this painting's over here you go straight through and then boom you've got your secret chest which is really really easy to do so those are five ways one two three four um five i think i think i was actually six one two three four five six so yeah six ways to hide your chest guys actually four was five so yeah six got six ways to hide your chest in Minecraft. if you guys did enjoy this video and you do want more daily content don't forget to hit that subscribe button do not forget to leave a like on the video and do not forget to subscribe it's been juice mc and until next time it's gonna be peace Long life.